Uh, hi, I'm Neil Smith, and uh, I'm presenting today the digital reconstruction of Petra Sikh aqueducts. Uh, this is a poster primarily developed by Ahmed Al Hassanat. Um, at the time, he was working at Petra Park Authority, and he had the opportunity to do this project under the auspices of the Petra Park Authority. And I'm really presenting on behalf of him. Um, uh, basically, the, the, the purpose of um, this poster is to demonstrate um, the use of photogrammetry, structure from motion, um, to reconstruct um, areas of uh, cultural heritage or archaeological sites where we may only have a, a small amount of the remains, but it's enough once we have them very accurately recorded to be able to reconstruct the remaining parts, parts of it. So what we wanted to do, uh, what Ahmed did, is he went to one of the portions of the Sikh where there used to be an ancient aqueduct that's primarily uh, collapsed and destroyed now, but you can still see roughly portions of the remains. And so he went to that area and he um, did a terrestrial uh, photogrammic uh, session capturing the area. And so what the poster describes is it shows how we did it, our approach to be able to capture the area, and then how we use that data to create the final results. So um, in the scanning method, basically what we did is we took uh, thousands of images where we basically walked laterally through the Sikh area, capturing images at every possible angle to make sure there's significant amount of overlap, significant amount of parallax between images. Um, after we completed um, taking all the images, we then ran it through a very popular uh, software for photogrammetry called Agisoft Photoscan. Um, uh, Adisoft was able to create a complete 3D reconstruction point cloud and mesh of the area. Um, and then once we had those results, we um, took measurements from uh, total station and GPS to basically scale and orient the Seek within its proper location within this, the main Seek area. So here you can see the main Seek and here you can see the original aqueduct in Navatian Dam. Um, once we had everything referenced, scaled properly, brought into AutoCAD, then we then um, Ahmed actually took the data and he um, extracted basically contours. He extracted the dimensions and the, the aqueduct section. And then finally you can see here a reconstruction of the aqueduct where it actually was in ancient times. Um, so this aqueduct, now we're able to like fully visualize it, document it, even though we only had just a small portion of it in, in, uh, in modern times. And then the final part is what he did is he brought it into a visualization software that we developed at Falcon Viz. Um, and this one's geared towards making a virtual ASIC. So you can basically go throughout the SIC and pull up images, 3D models, and everything of these different reconstructions. So thank you very much.